Welcome everyone. In today's video, I wanted to talk about some airdrop opportunities that you can take advantage of. So I've created a spreadsheet here called the Infinite Bid Airdrop Spreadsheet, and I'll leave a link in the description down below for you to go ahead and check it out. So this is where I list uh, a ton of airdrops that you can take advantage of, uh, ranging from Solana to Base Linear Scroll, Optimism, Arbitrum, and different multi-chain applications here as well. Anything that's highlighted in blue are projects that I think are most worth your time to farm the airdrop. Uh, this may be because they've raised a ton of money and it's likely that they're going to launch at a high valuation and do a bigger airdrop. Additionally, we have here things on the right and that's confirmed airdrops. So we know that Camino is a confirmed airdrop, so I put it in green. I just didn't want to overlap some of the colors here, and that's why I put everything that is confirmed uh, on the right-hand side here. I've got 30 different projects here that you could go ahead and try to get a possible airdrop. So on the left-hand side, we have the name of the project, its category, whether it be a money market, bridge, DEX, perpetual futures DEX, uh, yield farming, NFT marketplace, that sort of thing, its chain, we have a lot of Solana here, as well as some other Ethereum layer two stuff, as well as their Twitter accounts and a website. Now that we've taken a look at the spreadsheet, I wanted to talk about some of the projects that I think are most worth your time when you're going to be doing this airdrop farming. We only have limited amounts of capital and time, so I think it's best that you focus on the projects that will drop the largest potential airdrop. First project I wanted to talk about here is Wormhole. So you can go to portalbridge.com. This is built on top of Wormhole. And basically you could bridge assets from other chains onto Solana or from Solana onto other chains. So for example, if you wanted to bridge uh, some USDC to Solana, you would do so through Portal. The next project would be Tensor. So Tensor is a Solana NFT marketplace, basically Blur, but on Solana. And so the way to qualify for this airdrop would be to buy and sell NFTs on Tensor. The next project is Zeta Markets, which is a perpetual futures DEX on Solana. So they've openly talked about an airdrop that they're going to be doing, and it's based on the amount of Z-score that you can accumulate. You can accumulate Z-score by trading more. So the more volume you trade, the more your Z-score goes up. Specifically, every $1 in take volume increases your Z-score by one. We have another Perpetual Futures DEX here in Satori Finance. So Satori Finance is a multi-chain Perpetual Futures DEX. You can trade uh, Bitcoin and Ethereum here. But when I say multi-chain, I mean multi-layer two. So you have access to Satori Finance on like ZK Sync, uh, Scroll, Linear, Base, and Polygon ZK EVM. So Satori Finance is a good place to go because you're able to trade on Satori Finance on those various different layer twos which puts you in position to potentially qualify for the airdrops for those various different layer twos that don't have tokens yet. Additionally, Satori Finance is another tokenless protocol, so you're putting yourself in the position to get a Satori Finance airdrop in the future as well. The next project I wanted to talk about is SyncSwap. So this is your basic DEX. Um, you know, imagine something like Uniswap or Radium. Uh, it's available on ZK Sync, Linear and Scroll. And again, this is something that you want to use on those various different layer twos in hopes of getting an airdrop. And it's something that you can easily do, right? So you can do swaps here as well as provide liquidity uh, in their pools. The next project is Intent. X. So Intent X have openly advertised that they're doing an airdrop. So this is another good place to go as well. Another benefit of trading on Intent X is that they're currently not employing any sort of funding rates when you're trading on Intent X. So if you want to get leveraged long and not have to pay a ton to keep your position open, then Intent X is somewhere that you want to go and it puts you in a position to get a potential base airdrop. The next project I wanted to talk about is Funder. So Funder is basically an on-chain trading terminal. Basically, it just makes it easier to get in and out of positions when you're trading on chain. And you're able to trade on like Ethereum, Optimism, Arbitrum, Avalanche. And I think they're looking to expand on Solana at some point as well. But the only way that you can access Funder is by being referred, which is why I have the link here. And then once you join Funder, you can refer other people uh, to give them invites as well. And the last project that I wanted to talk about today is Eigenlayer. So Eigenlayer is an ETH restaking protocol. So basically you're going to have to go to ETH mainnet and stake some Ethereum with them uh, in order to qualify for their airdrop. And I think this one will be a large airdrop in the future. So that was it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember links to this infinite bid airdrop spreadsheet will be in the description down below and make sure to subscribe for more videos like this one.